Hello my lovely Aquarians, welcome to your January 2019 reading, the first reading of 2019 of this wonderful year that, that lies ahead of you. Let's see what it holds. This is for Aquarians, Sun sign, Moon sign and Rising sign. So have a, also have a listen to your Moon sign and your Rising sign because sometimes that's going to be of more significance to you. So let's explore January 2019 and see what's in store for you. I'm going to start with the card that I've got here in the recent past. And, and it, I really get a really interesting information from my guides for you with this card. It's, it's the Prince of Swords. And what I get really clearly here is the time of planning is over. The time of planning and thinking and um, laying down plans is, is finished. It's now time to take action. So the planning stages and anything you've been planning, anything you've been working towards in 2018, anything that you've wanted to bring in, any changes, um, changes of behaviour, people that are around you, any planning, anything that you've been processing anything that you've been processing that is done enough with that so it don't it don't continue to go over it don't continue to revise it it's completed it's done it's now time to put those plans into action to put that direction into action for you um, and the energy that's coming um, around around you for this reading is really strong it's it, it's it's very, very powerful. It's very powerful energy. And for me, that is a clear indication when it's sitting like that is it's time to move it on. It is actually time to start processing it. It's time to start um, bringing in those changes. So it's time for action, time for action. January is going to see you feeling really emotional. January is going to see you really getting in touch with your emotions, getting in touch with your intuition, getting in touch with, uh, this is the Princess of Cups, and it's, it's about getting in touch with your intuition. It's about um, getting in touch with your emotions. Okay, It's really about following your gut instinct following um, the inspirations that you have. So it's operating on an emotional level which is really different to the mind, the, the intellect, the, the thinking um, level of, of processing. This is about following what your emotions are telling you. Don't um, ignore them because they won't lead you astray. Whenever we follow our gut, whenever we follow our intuition, very often there's no rhyme or reason in, you know, well, that doesn't sound, how's that going to work? That doesn't sound very practical. But it's really about trusting what is shown to you, what is being shown to you. So there's going to be um, a real stirring of emotions for you, a real exploring of this emotional side, letting that come to the fore in January. Operate on that level. What are your heart's desires? What, are you, what do you want to do? What do you want to achieve? On a, on a romantic level, on a heart level. That's going to be there for you in, um, <clears throat> in January. Really important. Really important. Then you've also got the Four of Pentacles. And this is always an interesting card, the Four of Pentacles to me. What I pick up here is, you know, you've, you've got these opportunities. You've got this new way of thinking. You've got this new way of processing. But guard it well. Don't spread yourself too thin. You're in a, a place of having done a lot of processing, having worked out where you want to go and what you want to do. Um, the word of caution here for you is don't, don't give, give away your essence. Don't give away yourself. Um, don't spread yourself too thin. Keep that energy for you in order to move forward. So um, you can still share share yourself with others, give that help, give assistance, give that information to other people, but also keep something for you. Be mindful of who you give your energies to. If they're deserving, if they are 
um, if it's something you want to do, then you do it with awareness. But don't allow people to take that energy from you because you're going to need it in moving forward in January because there's going to be a lot of new things, a lot of changes coming to you in January because what's underwriting all of that, and I feel like you know that instinctively, intuitively, like that Princess of Cups says, intuitively, you know that there's change around, there's change that's coming for you which is really interesting. You've had a hard time. You've had, it's not been great. It's been a difficult time for you in 2018 and beyond. It's, it's, and that difficulty is, is, is going to vary for each of you. For some of you, it's been really difficult. For some of you, it's, there's been bumps in the road. But <clears throat> for all of you, it's the wheel of fortune is turning in your favour. 2019 is going to be a year for you and it starts in January. Now what you're going to reap, and I feel like what, what you're going to reap in about June, July of this year is going to be directly proportionate to the effort and the change you've brought in in January. So January lays the foundation for what is going to unfold for you through 2019. But the tides of fortune have turned are turning in your favour in 2019. And I, in, I can pick up from your energy that a lot of you already know that. A lot of you already sense that there's change afoot and you're ready to embrace that change. You're ready to bring that change on. Just be mindful of, and this is also telling me to be mindful of your possessions as well. Don't be giving away too much. Be mindful of what is yours. Be mindful of your possessions because that's going to stand you in good stead. For those of you that are, are walking away from a situation, don't be inclined to think, oh, well, I'll just, you know, I'm just going to walk away. I don't want anything. You, that is not, the, you need that for what's going to unfold for you mid-year. So be mindful of that. That's just something that's come up. They've just said that to me. So for some of you, that's going to be extremely important. <clears throat> Protect what's yours, yourself, your energies, your essence, as well as for some of you, the material aspect of it. Okay, that will be really important. Be mindful of that. Whatever change comes through, how it's going to be reflected in your reality is the chariot. And I love this card because the chariot is, is really indicative of taking charge. The dark horse is your shadow self, your subconscious, your secret part of you, your secrets, your, your desires, your uh, what makes you, you your challenges that you've faced and how that's molded you and how that comes up in your, in your now. The white horse is the conscious self, your conscious self, the self you project to others, the self you project in, in the public eye. Dark horse is, is your private self. We all have that. And it's about bringing those two together and steering them, not allowing one horse to be more powerful than the other and pull it in, in the direction that it wants to go, but to have them equally balanced so that they go in the direction you're choosing to go. You take charge of your future. You take charge of the direction that you're moving in and that is going to absolutely be really powerful for you in January. You taking charge, you moving forward in the direction you want to go, not being pulled by um, opportunities or circumstance, fate, whatever you want to call it, but you creating your reality, you creating the direction that you want to go in because you've spent a lot of time in the planning of it, a lot of time in the planning of it. There's going to be a lot there. And, you know, to be able to steer that, to be able to take that chariot and steer it and control those horses of, that are quite strong and forceful takes a lot of your concentration, a lot of your determination, a lot of your um, substance to steer your life in the direction you want it to go. So that's going to be really, really important. 
uh, that's going to be to to lay the plans of where you want to go, what direction you want to go in. Uh, you know, it's really good. I really like that. So have the confidence, have the strength, follow your instinct, follow your intuition. Does it sit well with you? you I feel like you're going to have people in your ear. Um, saying, well, you know, do it this way and do it that way. And what are you doing? There's no logical reasoning why you're doing what you're doing. Don't listen to the chatter. Don't listen to the external advice. Always check in on yourself. Check into your solar plexus. Check into your gut. How does it sit? How does it sit? Really pull away all that doubt and all that um, lack of confidence and really listen to yourself. Take time out to meditate. Take time out to really think about what you've been planning and where you've wanted to be to go and what you've wanted for yourself. January is about yourself. Really working that out. And I feel like you do because as we near the end of January, <clears throat> here you are taking Everything, the 10 of wands, the 10 is completion. It's completion before we start a new cycle. And it's taking everything you've learned, all your, your, your hurts and your lessons and, and your um, challenges that you've faced in the past. It's now time to call all that in. And how has that molded you and made you who you are today? How has that molded you and made you who you are and how you take on challenges? It gives, it's also giving you a perspective, knowing that you can overcome whatever is laid before you. And it's taking all of that, not forgetting about it, but taking from it what, is, what you've learned, what you've benefited from those situations and moving forward, moving to that next part of your life moving forward to achieve the goals and the plans that you're setting yourself that are coming up because you change you change as, as situations come about people come across our path to teach us to teach us lessons valuable lessons and rather than collapsing into that the lesson the actual situation it's about sifting through that and picking out of that what you've gained from that, what wisdom, what knowledge, what strength and take it with you. So rather than it being a burden that you're carrying on your back, it's, it's actually you're carrying that with you to help you in, fu in the future, to help you with future, future plans, future goals that you can set yourself, that you're going to be perfectly capable to achieve. Fantastic. Now what I'm going to look at here is what is coming up here. How does this how does all of this figure in your reality in what's coming up? So you've got the eight of cups here, and it's you know, all of this is, is going to cause you to um, have an opportunity to reflect on your past, and you are really ready to, you know, as this as this card is an indication of, you're ready to turn your back on past situations, past challenges, past habits, past behaviours, past um, situations that have kept you in, in a situation that's not made you happy, that's not been good for you, that where there's not been progress, where there's been heartache, where you've given of yourself to others, others or someone else that has not allowed you to grow. So it's about you're, you're ready to turn your back on all of that, turn your back on the past and move forward, move forward to new beginnings to new um, opportunities and you're ready to do it you're ready to do it it's like it, it's like, it's what I'm hearing is the line's been drawn in the sand you're ready to do it you're ready to move on you're ready to take on whatever uh, new opportunities are there because they're opportunities of your choosing they're opportunities of your choosing opportunities that you've wanted to put in in place things that have been are good for you so it's no longer about pouring emotions into a situation that is not working 
And for some of you, that's a work environment. For some of you, it's family. For some of you, it's a relationship. For some of you, it's children. It's going to be different for all of you, but it's, it's you in January coming to a realisation and taking charge of it and having and moving forward in the way you want not the way other people are imposing on you. It's about breaking those, and you know, very clearly I see it's a breaking away of chains. It's a breaking away of those chains so that you can move forward. Unchaining yourself from situations that are toxic, are not suiting you, are preventing you from moving on. And for some of you, it's simply about um, <clears throat> changing how people perceive you. So the changes are within the, yourself and people will see that change. So it's not necessarily getting rid of people around you and people in your life, but you dealing with things in a different way, different perception. Really, that's, go back and listen to that because that's really powerful. That's really, that's, there's a lot there for you to interpret, to apply to your situation uh, in moving forward. Then you've got the Ten of Swords as well. So you turn your back, you move away from things that are no longer suiting you, attitudes, behaviours, um, the way you were dealing with things, the way you were allowing people to impose on you. It's going to be different for all of you. But it's, there's, there's another completion. There's another completion. So it is also a time, it's a time of laying down new plans, also a time of completions. A time of endings, a time of endings. <clears throat> some of those endings are going to be uh, difficult. They're going to cause you some anguish. They're going to cause you some concern. But um, it, they're, they're completions nonetheless. It's time to move on. It's absolutely time to move on. And rather than making it a burden, rather than making it painful, the pain comes from the resistance. When we, when we resist a change, when we resist something new coming into our lives, that's where we get our pain. That's where we get our fear. But by realising that there are some things that are no longer um, <clears throat> going to work for you, they're no longer going to help you where you're going, they're, they're no longer uh, relevant in your life, and it's about just releasing those. And for some of you, it's really digging deep and looking at behaviours, looking at interactions with other people. How do you interact with other people? Do you set a boundary? Do you have firm boundaries? Or is, is, is there a guilt at play where those boundaries will move? Is, are you being played? <clears throat> it's really having a look at all of that. And that stirs a lot. In you, So there's going to be a stirring of things in you for you to bring them up, have a look at them and, and release them, which brings an ending to all of that. And that's really, really positive, really positive. You know, you've also got, you know, the Nine of Swords. This is in the place of your hopes and fears, you know, and your fears of, you know, it. it um, first of all, I want to say that for some of you, this is going to be a very active dream life. It's going to interrupt your sleep. You are going to get messages through your dreams. You are going to get messages from your guides. Um, at night, you'll, you'll get um, inspiration. You'll get um, information at night from guides, which will interrupt your sleep. And for some of you, it's you know things going over and over in your head, which you know is going to cause you sleepless nights. You know, it's like oh. There's going to be a, a period of time where you're just going to um, process things so that you're really, you're really going to be thinking about where you're heading and what you're doing and, and what's happening um, in your life in, around you. Absolutely. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Sneezing. I hope that wasn't too loud for you. Where is it? Oh, I'm very sorry about that. The Queen of Swords, the outcome is the Queen of Swords and this is you. This is you, the Queen of Swords standing, this can be male or female, but at the end of this, at the end of January, when you've done all this process thing, when you've done all this releasing, when you've done all this planning of where you're moving to, you're going to come into your own strength. You're going to come into your own, uh, the, um, 
motivation, your own power, self-empowerment. You're going to feel really good about where you're going and what you're doing and what you are keeping in your life and what you're releasing. So you're really ready to take on the challenges of um, 2019, which is really good. I really like that. I like, I like the... Um, the thought, the confidence, the ideas, the inspiration. So, you know, these nights where you're sort of not sleeping and processing and thinking about and 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 getting, you know, intuitively getting your, your information uh, and inspiration, it's going to pay off because it's going to start setting the foundations of the future. There's new learning, there's new ways of doing things, there's new opportunities that are going to bring in everything that you want. And it's, it's like, you know, this new strength of these are my boundaries, don't mess with me. That sort of attitude is really going to come through and I really, really like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a card from, you know, the Angels of Abundance, which I really like, which very nicely summarise, oh, there it is, summarise what is uh, the overall theme for January for you. Huh, really interesting. There you go. Take a divinely guided chance. Take a divinely guided chance. I really like that. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk and you're ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. I love these cards. Now, doesn't that summarise so well what I have been uh, giving you as a reading? And, you know, I've just shuffled those and that's just come out. So I'm also going to give you... Uh, card from my dream time cards really like these cards and let's see what advice what advice you're going to be given so let's just see what card comes out for you oh look at that that's just absolutely flown out hasn't it okay walk about <laughs> bare feet walk about bare feet that's taking taking away um unnecessary you know to have your bare feet you know get to the bare bones of where you want to go and what you want to achieve and really feel the ground really feel get back in touch with the basics in your life and what you're wanting and it's time for a walkabout it's time for leaving out leaving behind what no longer is relevant and walking to a, a place where you will settle that is going to bring to you the happiness and the abundance that is your right that is what you um, the change that you're bringing in and that's going to be different some for some people it's going to be a physical move for some people it's going to be a shift within themselves and their perception and their boundary setting and what they're wanting so there's a shift in them this because emotions are also in play this month but it, a, when you get the walkabout card, it's not. A, it, you can no longer stay where you are. It is time to move. It is time to find, go, go on walkabout. The indigenous people go on walkabout when they are in a, a particular area of the country that is now needing to be replenished. There's not, it doesn't provide the sustenance there for them to sustain them and they go walkabout to find a new location one where they are going to be able to be nurtured and fed and looked after and, and it's going to prov somewhere that's going to provide what they need. And so for you, it's a spiritual walkabout, an emotional walkabout, going, to, you know, getting yourself to a place that is going to nurture you, that is going to provide for you. How lovely is that? Fantastic. So I hope you found this uh, beneficial for you for January. I hope that it does help you. I'm sorry that the readings are a little bit late this month, but I've had a really busy time with family and with um, festivities. So I hope you, you gain what you need to from this reading. Many blessings to you.